Welcome to the Systems of Life, Dream Time to Real Time. My name's Lyndon Anley Zuck, and I've just recorded two clear clips on men's health, actually. It's been annoying me for a long, long time. I felt under a lot of coercive control not to talk about men's health, so I really do need your support there, okay, because this is about a 20-year plan for women, okay, and women's health. Now, it's quite interesting. So, Clip one and two for men's health was concentrating on the visual, virtual, and verbal violence they're suffering, okay, not physical violence. And if you have a son or you want to have a son in the future, you have a, a nephew, a brother, you know, a father, or a male friend, and you you might not actually understand as a female the bullying system towards men and how a lot of men react to it, okay? And as a guy, I think I understand that fairly well too. But as a person that had to rescue men and women because I cared from businesses, I was in charge of, say, mental and physical health programs, so wellness advisors, health advisors, okay, end up becoming suicide prevention. Not that I thought it would ever get to that. And so I was given basically the impossible equation. I thought, wow. This is horrendous. Started doing the suicide prevention courses, mental health first aid, studying mental health now. I did performance, um, uh, sports coaching, so performance psychology and performance physiology. Now, look, that's really interesting because that's actually some of the platforms you use to plan high performance up here or feeling good or high performance culture. So that's that pathway going up the page, the top to the sunlight. Okay. Now, the path that goes down to the bottom of the page is one that's really not understood. Okay. I'll just be quick on this one. 15 years of parliamentary inquiries proved that we're not even close to fixing that. Okay. They just, they just didn't understand it, that you had to have a 20 year and 40 year mistake plan to actually get to the stage where we have the mental and physical health stats today in Australia on the negative health pathway I mapped, a negative health curve, okay, which is bullying, anxiety, depression, divorce, domestic violence, death by other means like stalking or, or visual violence. Uh, and suicide, bads. I made it as a bads acronym so people would remember that. So I started seeing patterns, all right? So I'm a sports coach, high performance throws coach, a strength and conditioner, personal trainer, qualified in business, and doing more mental health. Now, not that I needed any of those qualifications to see what was happening in front of me, how I felt when it happened, okay, and how it made the people feel. But those results, just so you know, they're at the doctor's. Okay. And so if it ever goes legal, they're sitting there. Those reports are there. That actually happened to people. And so in in performance or in the seasonal mapping like I do with original Australians on country filming, genius level culture, whether I do my hunting and gathering, whatever I do there or strength and conditioning in sport, we notice patterns. And a higher performance pattern is also a healthier usually and a safer pattern and will change in one to two seconds if we need to very, very quick. And the downside of look, the great thing about university is it teaches people that the world's not flat, <laughs> which the internet's still arguing about, by the way. But the downside is you can spend 15 years arguing over things, okay? And that's way too long. That's a whole, I call it a generation from years one to 12, they're out into the mainstream. It's too, too late, all right? So you can save someone in a few seconds with a few positive words to give you a bit of context there. And so I'd rather be there streetwise at the front lines. Mm. So it's really interesting. I was watching systems, okay? So you see very, very happy people destroyed uh, immediately or destroyed over thousands of hours and years. And you sort of watch the system, watch it. And I was living with them, helping them. And I thought, right, I had all these referral networks to go to, but a lot of them were just they were hopeless and they, they were way behind where we should be as humans, okay? We think we're better than other animals that are taking care of our own, but I'm not so sure about that. So I was watching the weaknesses in the system, did the SWOT analysis on basically the whole Western system of life. In the end, it ended up being that. And I thought, right, okay, this is a pattern of male behavior towards, say, a male that results in that negative health. This is a pattern from males towards females that results in negative health. Okay, okay, I've seen that enough times. And then the other systems I was watching going, well, this is how females bully females and that's how females bully males. And so I was sitting there because these were all my problems to solve in the end because it was all negative health and we're in a high suicide risk zone. So it was like full on, full beyond full on. Okay. And so I started seeing people drop off. Doctors wouldn't support, psychologists wouldn't support, lifestyle practitioners wouldn't support, HR managers wouldn't support, line managers wouldn't support, masters of business qualified people wouldn't support, counselors wouldn't support. Some would, you know, I'd sit there thinking, this is just too risky. This whole situation, this whole scene 
everyone, the minimum standard to be a human, if you're adhering to your zero harm vision, mission statements, code of conducts and policies and procedures is to help your fellow human. doesn't cost anything. It's free. Are you okay? You don't need a qualification to do it. And so I sat there thinking, right, is this the system? Because you need to know the road you're on and the system to actually fix it. And I battled with it for a long, long time. I wish I knew more earlier, and that's why I'm doing these clips now. So there were specific systems. For instance, a male might joke to another male, but they were actually serotonin bashing them is what we call it now. And in, in between my brother and I, we say that's serotonin bashing. And it's like 10,000 lashes kills you, You hit, especially if you hit someone at low tide. And I was just watching it, watching it, watching it, thinking, right, okay, but I know that, and I know how that makes someone feels, and I know what this person's doing, and I could see the look on their face physiology-wise, and I was also assessing it with predator-prey relationships while filming animals continuously and reading continuously and studying, and especially crocodiles with a cigarette lighter-sized brains, and us humans with a watermelon-sized brain actually behaving worse. So I was looking at it thinking, right, okay, I'm very, very clear where this ends. I'm very clear of the consequences of that with crocodiles, with lions, the consequences 20 years ago, 30 in a different era, you would have been pulled up a lot earlier and consequences maybe 200 years ago and then consequences a couple of hundred thousand years ago would have been very immediate and handled in a different fashion. And I thought, right, okay, this is interesting. And I thought, okay, that's happening there. Yep. I've experienced it. I know it. Men versus men. That's that. And, uh, you don't need to see any more patents to actually realize that's where it is. And the doctor's reports proved it okay. So on the other side was women versus women. And I saw that and I thought, right, I know what that is. That's happened there. That's happened for 10 years. That's happened at these work sites. This is how it starts. And that's where it ends. And then we're at the doctors now. And then I'm, I have a a job where I'm trusted and I get reports like that and people confide in me and I sit there thinking, wow, okay, that person's right at not being on the planet. And they were pushed there visually, virtually, and verbally. So a woman, yeah, just basically terrorizing another woman. And I thought, okay, I've seen that enough times. That is an absolute pattern. One day I'm going to take that right off the table, let everyone know that that's on the table as a system used to hurt people. And then that way no one can say they don't know. And that way we can all evolve at a higher level as a society where it's common knowledge and then more people will be pulled up, less people will suffer and we could actually be the best country in the world. We'll see. And so then the other system was women versus men. And one of the cases I've, I'm still going, still continuing is getting close to 10 years now and it might be like 8,000 forms of abuse. And I'm sitting there thinking, how's that person still on the planet? How's that legal? And I thought, whoa, okay, this is the tip of the iceberg. And if you want to protect you know, your son or your brother or your father or your, your male friends, you need to understand that, that a person at 40 kilos in body weight can send a person at 140 kilos to a cemetery visually, virtually, and verbally for VK. So if you want to protect humankind, all humans, not just one group, that's what we need to be focusing on. 4VK, visual, virtual, and verbal violence kills. It works in many different directions. And that's where I, I also developed Trace. The reverse abuse cycle exists because I was talking to people that have finished all every qualification you could name in every single position you could name in every business with every zero harm vision mission statement code of conduct policy and procedure you could point a stick at, including some of the biggest companies in the world, which means if it's happening to them, it can happen anywhere because they should be highly evolved. They should have seen all this. And then I looked at all the podcasters, all the books. It just couldn't stop it. Parliamentary inquiries couldn't stop it. It was an absolute tsunami. And see, I was the last stop there with the net just trying to grab people. I'm thinking, I shouldn't be in that position. This should have been stopped way up the road there. But maybe you needed 10 different backgrounds. Maybe you needed to be sleeping next to people with them at work to actually understand it. And once I knew you couldn't torture people at university with the ethics, which is fair enough, you can't get that data. And if you're a famous person online writing books or professors or study psychology, you can't get that data. You can't get it. Maybe back in the 1950s, but not now. And that's the confusion. And that's the gap. That's a hell of a gap. The last thing I would want 
any of, say, my relatives or your relatives traveling through is a field full of piranhas in the ponds, crocodiles in the creeks, snakes in the grass, hyenas in the hills, and vultures overhead on the internet picking your eyeballs out while you're stuck in the mud, still alive, when they should be lending your hand saying, are you okay? Okay, I thought we were human. I thought we were better than other animals. Maybe not. We'll see. So that was a hell of a journey. That's a 100,000 hour deep dive into that area. And man, did it take some sacrifices. The gift from me to you is you know the game. Okay. The other group relies on you not knowing the game. Your HR manager not knowing the game. Your boss not knowing the game. The game not being taught at uni. The game not being taught to judges, lawyers, and the police. Although the police we've spoken to recently, they're getting awake to the game. Okay. So it's going to go full circle. The problem is there's going to be a tsunami of damage permanently. And if you study trauma, you might know that. And could be a generationally, it just could be horrendous. And it could be another group coming through that are going to be exposed to all these predators that have had 40 years of work practicing as a psychopath or a narcissist, or just borderline, or just really aggressive using, using the pathway provided by the current Zero Harm Vision Mission Statement Code of Conduct Policy and Procedure stupidity, I would have to just say that straight out, lack of knowledge by that group. And that's why I've always suggested that human resources should be removed from companies and should be a completely external body. Okay. It just cannot, I've seen human resource officers cover up everything I talk about to the point where, yeah, it's really questioned my, whether I should be helping humanity. Like I've had to ask myself that question to what cost, because I'm going to be attacked for doing this. But always remember the people attacking me for showing you the systems that push people to hospital and that will push future generations to hospital that I've witnessed, okay, and actually successfully stopped, all right, which includes removing people from companies, which is a really high level job. Only a few people have in the planet complex as you have to go all in. Seriously, the people trying to stop me telling you that this is the game and that's where it ends. That is the exact group you need to be copying the names down of. And I ask internet social media providers to record their names, even if they're hiding behind an avatar, because that's the future group in an evolved society that will be on a banned workers register do not hire register, will have to go through counselling register. That group, or at least to be watched, that group is extremely dangerous. And at the moment, from what I've seen, is they have a 100% get out of jail free card permission slip to do anything they want to, to anyone, visually, virtually, and verbally, with no consequences at all. Yeah, so it's quite interesting to have to sit there with managers of all levels and say, this person is was here, a good human up the top of the page. All these actions have pushed them there. They're seeing a psychiatrist, a psychologist right now. They're one step off not being on the planet. What is it that you don't understand that this is a workplace and the base level human rights are? You don't have to go through this at any workplace. This is a predator-prey relationship, okay? That's a fear-based one. It's seriously horrendous. It's the 20 20s. How else can I say this to you other than ringing the police now? You know, it's it's the, to that level of frustration when I sit in front of people and you look at them, their eyes are glazing. You sit there thinking, you don't care whether humans live or die. You've been trained to be a person that is responsible for dehumanization. That's why we have the great resignation, the hybrid work, work roster, sorry, and no one wants to go to work. Mm. So <laughs> I hope you're still keeping up with me. That's just straight off my mind. Mm. I might not be working in this industry very long. Who knows? Uh, you can see I have a lot of knowledge. I haven't heard anyone talk like me. I can hear people that are very well educated in other areas talk, but you can see they've got the Black Hawk Down thing going where the generals were way out of touch with the troops getting shot the bits on the streets and giving in the wrong plans. You can see that now. I explain why that gap is there. No one will know everything and we need people at both ends of all those spectrums to actually help, including you. And we're part of a one in eight billion solution here. But I don't want you to go down that road. So I've just identified that road to you. So what you could do now is you could use this clip to send your boss to say, that's what's happening at this company. 
Okay. What you do then is you screenshot it, you email, okay, you have proof of it, and they're all legally on notice. Now, in Australia, we have people starting to go to jail for doing this type of stuff, at uh, especially in workplace safety and maybe some CEOs, and that's good because that's how it should be, because this is a complete destruction of culture. If you have that going on at a workplace, all right, which is what I'm talking about right now, because everything flows downhill back there through the community, back to online behavior, back at the home. I actually think this could possibly reduce all other forms of violence, because that's how important it is. This whole war that's going on at work that I see in Australia, I've had two calls in the last day. You know, I just sit there thinking, man, am I the only person that sees this? Am I the only person that can articulate this, that can make sense of this? Just, it wasn't even my job to do, and it's not, but maybe now it is because I see things from a different perspective and the front lines, which is exactly where it happens, that's the most valuable information, okay? Not areas that take five or 15 years to catch up. So I hope that makes sense. There are different forms of intimidation, harassment, bullying, whatever you want to call it, okay? It pushes people down the negative health pathway, top of the page to the bottom of the page. I call that BADS, all right? It's from men to men, men to women. Like, I haven't seen that much of men to women, actually. I've seen a lot of women to men, and that's the biggest increase I've ever seen in my life for the last 10, 15 years, and women to women. And I've noticed almost no one you talk to knows anything about it or will say anything about it because they basically tell you if you talk about it, you could have your life ended pretty much in Australia. And I just looked at them and went, well, that's a coercively controlled country then. That's a fear-based society. That's a predator-prey relationship. And that's not healthy or safe for anyone. And I'm praying that's not the actual reality of our culture. But this is a hell of a test. So it's through the five-link chain of life, okay? So I've just explained forms of bullying for you. You are now aware of it for yourself, for all genders and generations at work, transgender and other included, okay? You're now aware of it for your family and your friends. So if you haven't heard of it before, and if you no one's explained it to you regarding where it ends, which is a cemetery, I just have, okay? And I've sat down with high-level people even in the last 12 months and had it recorded. And I've said, look, I've just notified you now that's where this ends. And if this happens at this work site, you're going to be in legal problems, okay? And it's got to that. And so I don't want to ever be having that conversation because for me, this is MSPS, Minimum Suicide Prevention Standard. This should be like gummy bear, marshmallow roast, you know, soft serve, vanilla level one of being a human. Like you should know this at the age of, as a kid, seriously. And we have adults doing this with unlimited qualifications. So that's proven not to actually be the 100% solution unless it changes and has work like this in it. Mm. And while people can get away with doing it, thinking there's no consequences or thinking the people in the workplace are too dumb to know where this goes, you're going to have those predator-prey relationships, but you're not going to have the physical version of it, okay? You're going to have the visual, virtual, and verbal one, 4VK. That's why I mentioned that. And what you're going to do is you're going to have people do it systematically to your friends and family or you if they can get away with doing it. The reverse cycle, the one that no one thinks is possible, the reverse abuse cycle exists, trace. That's why I developed that. And so if you have a boss or a human resource manager that does not understand that, will not admit it, you have a person that's never going to defend you or never going to defend at least half the population, okay? And that, that's not a system I can use for a 20-year plan for humankind forward. And this one, I'm talking to women because maybe no one's told you this. And this is what's actually going on. And have a think about poking a bear in a corner for 10 years, 10,000 serotonin bashings. What do you think any animal on the planet's going to do after that? When at university in, in sports coaching to program high performance, okay, physically, mentally, or even spiritually, you know, it's like seven to one helping. And the, the one is help them. It's not a reprimand. It's like have a talk privately to help. Okay. So yeah, <laughs> it baffles me how people have got away with it for so long. And I know that game. And I now know as a culture, I don't think we really understand that game after lecturing to people about this from all over the world while I was cultural and natural world tour guiding on epic Aboriginal land in Kakadu National Park where Crocodile Dundee was filmed or Arnhem Land with a 65,000-year-old genius-level culture there, by the way. And I'm sitting here thinking, okay, 
one day I'm just going to go for it no matter what. And it'll be very interesting because anyone actually trying to stop me, if you're a business out there or you're a social media enterprise or you're, you're a person who just cares about humankind, you should be worried if you hear people you know not support someone that's actually showing the system that kills people and culture. It kills all genders, generations, and races. Okay. I'm talking to women here today, transgender and other. The previous clip before I was talking to men because there's slightly different, well, there are different angles for it. Okay. But today, if you have a husband or a son, okay, or a nephew or a father, all right, this is how it's delivered to them. And so if they've just gone through 10,000 serotonin bashings, okay, pushed into a corner, they're a shadow of themselves, where do you think that path is going to lead? Okay? You can be part of the solution. Ask them if they're okay. All right? I just, yeah, it's baffling to me. Absolutely baffling. I'm here shaking my head. But that's a gift from me to you. If I had heard this clip 15 or 20 years ago, oh, I could have helped so many people go through so many thousands of hours, less suffering, right to the edge of a cliff a lot got to, could have helped myself a lot more. And I would have identified extremely nasty intentions and behaviors a lot earlier at work instead of giving the benefit of the doubt as a nice person, okay? So that's what it would have done for me. It would have actually completely changed my life and my health and wellness and my ability to help others. That's what this one clip would have done. It's a condensed version of 2 billion thoughts, 2 million words, 300 headings, 10 different backgrounds, over 400,000 hours. But it's been a really big 100,000 hour deep dive. And there's no book, podcast, or professor I've listened to that can do it like, like I'm talking right now because I was reaching for all their work. Maybe I haven't seen it. And no one articulated it like this streetwise at the front lines where it counts in the 2020s. Uh, so hopefully it helps you can help by commenting how it's helped you, how you've seen society, it's helped society, how you help someone. You can actually do that because I've been reading a lot of internet comments lately and comment 5,000 or comment 50,000 has actually helped me if I've lobbed into a scene, you know, 10 years too late. You can actually still help. You can actually educate your bosses by sending this clip to them. You can actually defend yourself in a human resource case by sending this clip to them. You can show your doctor and your psychologist or psychiatrist, and none of them should be criticizing me, by the way, because you've had your chance. You should have dealt with all this. This shouldn't have been pushed on my lap ever, okay? And it's got to this. So anyway, that's that. I'll be working with you in the future. But you can show them saying, look, this leads to there. You're qualified here. This is your responsibility to stop that. You're looking after the fabric of society. It's your job. You, doctor, psychologist, and then boom, human resource manager, line manager, you know, that's it. Otherwise, see your union, work safety representation, document it all. But to explain what's going on without letting anyone else have that get out of jail free card. This is the way I have had to explain it. This is the way I have to explain it. And it has to be pretty blunt like this. I've tried to be nice so many times with it wrestling. I was talking like this when we were trying to remove a stalker from a business that could have killed people and they still weren't listening. So I was like, holy, you are, yeah. So we, we are potentially at 1% in this area of actually understanding it and moving it all forward. So just think of it as kindergarten, okay? And you're teaching children at your workplace or in society. Hopefully you have friendly zones through the five-link chain of life, home, community, work, online, and natural world. I mainly concentrated on work there for you. I concentrated on 4VK, visual, virtual, and verbal violence skills. I actually explained how men can do it to men, men to women, women to women, and women to men. Mm, it's very, very, and I'll be, don't worry, I'll be covering tons of stuff on what guys have done and all of the areas. And, and you're not perfect, remember? I'm not perfect. No news presenter or news reporter, psychologist, police, lawyer, doctor is perfect. Anyone who went through the 1960s and 70s, if you went back and filmed them at school or at uni or wherever, they wouldn't have any jobs now. So there's no use doing witch hunts, okay? There's perfect humans don't exist. The point of this clip is to actually understand the predator zones you're going through, the path it goes down, 
how it's delivered, how it's not physical, but it affects the physical and how it can transfer from all genders, generations and races. And the intent is to move humankind and the natural world forward, looking after animals as well. Okay. That's the intent. This is not right or left wing. Okay. This is not this or that. It's not gender this, gender that. There are different methods between the genders that do this. And because there are different me uh, methods and they're not really understood, and even the male versus male bullying one's not really understood either. And I have a huge section to go through with that. Don't worry. I'm not going to miss that at all. But it frustrates me. It really, really frustrates me because there should be people way down the road, way clearer than me. The whole world should have been taught this. This should be like minimum standard knowledge as a teenager. And thankfully, I've been in schools lately where mental health, mindfulness is being taught like in grade eight, which is awesome. That generation is going to bring in caring for the planet and caring for people mentally as well. The problem is if they go into a workforce full of predators that have a get out of jail free card, permission slip to do, use 4VK and trace, oh, they don't have a future. Okay. So thank you for listening. I'm happy with that. I think I'm going to publish this one. It's been a good day. It's very hard to put extremely complex topics together. Remember, I'm just pushing to work together. These are, this is what I've seen. Obviously, see your doctor for all plans in the future, but I am allowed to say what I've seen at the front lines, where I've seen it go. They are proven in medical records. I'm qualified in many areas. I have a seat at the table to talk about this. Anyone that tries to stop me from talking about this immediately should send alarm bells to you because you want, you know then that they want to keep doing all that evil. And that's the game. Okay. So I've just taken that game off them and they're not going to react too well especially narcissists and psychos, control freaks, okay, bullies, intimidation, harassment at work. They're going to hate it, okay? But this is the way forward. You can't find a solution for something if you don't even think the problem's there. If it helps you out, if it helps you understand what's actually been happening, please support me. <laughs> and I may actually need financial support one day because talking like this, I'm thinking no one's going to hire me. And that, again, is coercive control through fear, through not being an evolved culture. And that'll be the truth of the culture you're in or the country you're in. Quite interesting. And if you don't have this problem and you're an extremely evolved culture or country, oh, please tell me where this is. I want to go there and I want to learn. Otherwise, you just get to see what you don't want to be. And I've spent way too much time doing that. Although I must say, we are going to lead the world in a few areas in Australia. We're going to be dead last in a few areas as well because there's no perfect country or culture. But together, we can all improve that. Thank you for listening.